Hello everyone, Mark here, Mark's Max Muscle, and we are taking a look at Quentin Uriah, or Quint Beastwood, and Regan Grimes, two of the young, hungry studs on the IFBB horizon. This is actually a fan request. In a recent video, I put this picture of Chris Bumstead up with these obviously dubbed arms. I put some somebody else's arms on him, and I promised the first person to name the owner of those arms would get their video played and this person man or woman or what what have you i don't know they named they named names peter molner it's peter's arms and uh this was the request that they wanted to see they wanted to see ko pro of regan grimes but those pictures are unavailable anyway this is from the legion sports fest of regan grimes but in the front double bicep it's impossible to get a good shot. This is from the Prog Pro, I believe, of Regan Grimes. And even this shot, not a very good pitcher. I mean, it's pan back, distorts everything. You can't see conditioning. Having said that, Quentin Uriah most certainly winning in the arm department. Those are some of the nicest arms and flow perfectly with that physique. Structure, Quentin Uriah. They do not get any better than this guy. Usually with a, a waistline like that, you can see or expect smaller quads and calves, but that is not the case. Perfect X-frame. Actually, let's bring up the most recent front double bicep clear picture that I can find of Regan, and this is from the Olympia. He was noticeably off compared to after. Of course, he uh, changed his coach, Milo Sarchev. Or Sar Sarchev. I... I you know who it is. You know who it is. Darn it. Anyway, Regan Grimes most certainly losing in the arm department. And if you guys like that little comparison that I did, or that uh, switch up of the arms of Chris Bumstead, you guys like that? Hmm? Maybe we should do it with uh, Regan Grimes. He, much like Chris Bumstead, a little weak in the bicep department. So let's, boom, superset man copyright. <laughs> If you can name the, the owner of these arms, we'll do the same deal. First person to name the owner of them guns. Oh my soul. Could you imagine? Arm wrestle champion. Anyway, let's try to get back on track. Try to, try to get serious on this one. Quitting your eye front lat spread. Structurally speaking, once again, this guy, top of the line. Top of the food chain. But Regan Grimes, no slouch himself, a couple inches shorter, plus he's leaning, his, he's going turtle here, he's leaning back, so I had to size him a little bit shorter than he should be, I, I mean, if they stood back to back. Regan looks like he might be in better condition, but having said that, he also may be filled out a little bit better in the lats. Some of you guys don't like when they lean back like that, I don't know, just looks more impressive, but... Quinton definitely winning in the front double, so turn to the side, maybe tie game, depending on who you give the front lat spread to, I guess. I like the muscle separation here for Quinton, but he seems to be spread over a much longer frame from the side. He doesn't appear to be as thick. Of course, he's opened up a little bit more, so it's really hard to say. I believe Regan Grimes, inch for inch, he does look a little thicker in the pecs. But I, like I said, that muscle separation, the attachments the, from the pec to the uh, to the torso heap, a little bit more impressive. And Quinton in the wheels, I would say he's winning in the quads, a little bit more muscle separation. Glutes seem to be a little bit drier for uh, Regan Grimes. Man, oh man, needs a little bit more muscle separation in those pecs, does Regan. And and he when he does, he will have an awesome uh, pose here. Look at his far pec. It's a, it's a good thick peck for sure. Close. Turn to the side tricep. And Quinton. He, I think he honestly needs to dry out a little bit more in the upper body. He impressed me with the, the rear shots. As we will see, the glutes were very dry. In fact, he had some uh, stri strided glutes. But he, compared to Regan Grimes, I like his shape. The, the, the V taper here, even from the side, is tremendous. But Regan looks a little bit drier. The muscle separation looks a little bit better as well. Could it be the lighting? Of course. 
force. Definitely makes a difference, guys. The lighting. Tricep for tricep. And obviously the arms. The arm difference. Quentin Uriah definitely winning in that. He was winning in the front double because of that. And I would honestly give him this shot. I mean, the conditioning. He is conditioned. I mean, he's not soft by any means. It's not over until you see the back shots till the fat lady sings. And like I said, guys, Quint Beastwood, Quentin Uriah, whatever you like to call him, he brought some strided glutes for sure, mate. For sure, mate. But Regan Grimes, look at those hamstrings. For sure he is uh, winning on that aspect. And at first glance, Quentin Uriah, it does look like he has a big, wide back, but mostly it's the arms. It's mostly it's the arms. Regan Grimes hides his arms to flap those big, big wings out. You see that? Lat for lat. Most certainly the bigger uh, man in that aspect. And when you look at the overall X-frame, things of that nature... I mean, keep in mind, those are the arms of uh, Quinton making that uh, framework a little bit more impressive. I mean, it's good. It's a good back. It's a good back. But I just would uh, wager to say Regan might be winning. Rear double. Good impressive shot for both guys. Regan leans back. You see that? And that definitely creating more of a muscle separation from lat to lower back area. Good dry uh, separation in the... And those hamstrings those are pipes for Regan Grimes can't overlook that nice clean neat shot for Quinton Uriah though very impressive a little closer here I would say in the rear double traps all day long all day strong for Regan Grimes abs and thigh and this pretty much this is explains my whole case for this matchup structurally speaking no doubt Quinton Uriah V-taper, awesome, awesome. Calves, he has some goodies that Regan will never have. Will never have. He'll never have calves that big. No way. He'd have to train them all day, every day, for 20 years. Anyway, aside from that, look at the obliques. Even from the pitchers, you can tell that uh, Regan Grimes, if they did stand next to each other, he would show that he is in better condition, I do believe. Anyway, guys, you know how I feel about Quentin Uriah. Once he does dry out a little bit more, put on some more beef on the back. Guy will be unbeatable. Most muscular, most certainly also describing what I mean when I say Regan's a little thicker in certain shots as well. A little bit shorter, a couple inches shorter, and looks to be a little bit more stout. In, in not all the shots, not all the shots, but in a shot like this, I would wager to say Regan, he finishes off strong so to speak. So like I said, you know how I feel about Quentin Uriah. I much prefer his physique. I much prefer that front double. Oh, a thing of beauty. A thing of beauty. Like the Rocky Three statue. But anyway, this is your winner. And hey, I got nothing against Regan Grimes. I like Regan just fine. Anyway, that is uh, maybe a, a future matchup for the IFBB. You never know. Two young studs. I like the way they are evolving. Not too much. You don't want to ruin your aesthetics. Hit thumbs up on this video. And uh, like I said, name those arms. Name those arms. And you'll get your video played at some point anyway. Have a great day.